Starting off today with the LASCOC2 filter, where the last two recent solar flares are observed. You've just seen the first fast moving flare from the 31st, then the one from today is observed as a much slower flare. Now seen with the ink filter for better observation. Now the solar flares, seen through the difference filter, after the first flare on the 31st, it causes a disturbance which occurs with the satellite's imager. Using this CME model, the flare from the first is mapped, stereo, B, satellite will receive a glancing glow of radiation, on the fourth. This solar flare, classification chart, is like an EKG monitor, of the sun, here is seen the solar flare activity, the last three days. This chart shows no flare larger than C, class. At the bottom is shown the flares that have occurred today thus far. In the last 24 hours there has been two C, class flares. This one is a C 1.27 class flare. This is the last six hours and the C, class flare that was seen on the LASCOC2 filter, erupting from the sun is charted. Any C class flare is indicated thus so with the orange color. With this HMI intensity gram image, of the earth facing side of the sun, two sunspot regions can be seen, regions, 2859 and 2860. Here's a close-up view of region 2859, it shows one sunspot at this time, the size indicated with 10, means it is the size of 30 million square kilometers. Below, in this area, are the possible percentage of the solar flares that could occur from this region. A close-up of region, 2860 shows a greater number of sunspots, 14 that has decreased by 2, the size is 220, that has decreased by 20 which is about 604 million square kilometers. This map shows the areas, where coronal holes are located. When a coronal hole is positioned near the center of the Earth-facing solar disk, these hot gases flow towards Earth at a higher speed than the regular solar wind and cause geomagnetic disturbances on Earth with enhanced auroral activity. Depending on the size and location of the coronal hole on the disk, more or less auroral activity can be expected. Large coronal holes often result in faster solar wind than smaller coronal holes. Coronal holes are usually not interesting for aurora watchers at the middle latitudes and only occasionally cause geomagnetic storm conditions. Here are the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.